we tell ourselves stories all the time. And we have these narratives about whether or not I belong in this space or I don't belong in this space. Like, that's not for me. And it's hard because like when you don't see people that either look like yourself or have some kind of shared experience, it's hard to even fathom yourself being in the space. But sometimes you just have to blow that shit up and say, I'm just gonna be in the space. When people who don't know me and who don't know what I do look at me many times, it is just they see the fat first. That number on the scale or the size on your clothes do not determine who you are as a person. That's not all that I am. I'm a mom, you know, I'm a daughter, I'm a wife. Like I am so many different things that go way beyond what my appearance is or what my body is. I'm scared. I've done long races before, but I haven't done one that is an actual sky race. You know, I have worries, but I can't let that hamper me. I can't let the unknown stop me because then there's no growth in that. I think there are four big climbs at Broken Arrow Sky Race. You know, right out of the start line, you are climbing your first hill. I just let myself suffer. It's a part of the game. Like, it's, it is par for the course, suffering. The physical stuff is stuff that you mostly can handle, but you are always going to have to deal with sort of like mental anguish. <laughs> Especially me, I'm slow, and so I'm out there for a really, really long time. You have to learn to deal with your brain telling you you can't go on. But your legs and the rest of your body seem to know that you can go on. And I think that is an incredible lesson for life. It's gonna be hard. It's gonna be really difficult. There are parts that you're not gonna be a badass at. And I'm not a badass at any of this. And so it's always hard. <laughs> but there are views to look at. There are like incredible moments of flow. There are people to meet. Everyone supports each other. No matter what pace you're doing, what place you come in. The fact that I can move my body up a mountain, I think that's an incredible feat. When I'm in that space of gratitude, the world kind of opens up for me. I always learn something, like something really deep about myself when, when I'm doing these really hard things. You get to see the world in a different way from a different perspective. And you see yourself from a different perspective. That kind of moment is what I live for.